here's a picture of my dad from World War II. He was in the Army, so that's one of the reasons why I kind of followed his footsteps in joining the Army. Going out on a mission in Iraq was scary, but it didn't feel like the worst time. The worst time was when I came back to the States injured, I felt alone. I'm feeling like, you know, I had nobody to help me. If I hadn't have been introduced to Wounded Warrior Project, honestly, I don't know, know if I would be here. Wounded Warrior Project would come over and do different projects and events at the transition unit. At that time, I was in my wheelchair and I was asked to do a soldier ride. Um, they talked to me and told me, like, no, we have something for you, a bike um, that's made for you. And it was one of the best things ever. Because it's like not necessarily all about the bike ride. It was the camaraderie that I saw and had. It was like I got my family back again. Gradually, you know, I moved from the wheelchair to walking with the cane. Sometimes now, you know, I can do, you know, a little bit more now without my cane. You know, we, we go through those peaks and valleys. You know, I have people I can actually talk to and they will listen. Having civilian life and military life um, come crashing together, you know, sometimes it's overwhelming. But with the Wounded Warrior Project, you get that that kind of calm at the end of the storm. 